Hello, Planet Fitness family. This is Quentin Daly here checking in, and I am loving to see you guys check in from east to west as you always do. It is good to be in the club, of course, reminding everyone that fitness is essential and Planet Fitness is going to be here to make sure your fitness is a top priority. So will our team members, and they're always here making sure that all areas of the club are clean and sanitized so everyone can gym comfortably. Now, we're in the 360 area today, one of my favorite areas, focusing on interval training to show the body some appreciation. I want you guys to, of course, grab some space, put on your game face, and get ready for an amazing exercise. I know that you guys are ready to exercise, and I'm ready to go as well, so step into my office, and let's get ready with a warm-up. So what we're going to do to start off is a march in place or a jog in place. And all I want you guys to do is pump your arms and bring your knees up. And as we do this, we're going to go ahead and get the hip, the shoulders and the spine mobile and kind of just saying, hey, I know that you have been chilling, but it is time to put in a little bit of work. So let's go to that jog a little bit. All right. Moving a little faster. Be soft on that landing as you come up and back down and pump those arms. You're doing amazing. Keep going. Good. And we're doing interval training today in a high intensity fashion or moderate, up to you. But this is your workout, of course, and I'm here to help. So let's go and look for my instructions. I'll send some modifications your way as well. Almost done. And talking about modifications, make sure you modify this to match your energy or your intensity where you want to be. Almost done. About five seconds. Four, three, two, and stop right there. So now we have a curtsy step we got to add in, right? We did forward and back. We're going to do side to side motions, more or less moving once, one side to the next, all right? You guys ready? Here we go. Deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And then side to side we go. So one side step, bring it back over to the opposite, getting those hips mobile and your inner thigh and your buttocks involved, all right? But you don't have to drop as low, you can go down this way or you can just step. It'll get the same benefit, keep going. Let's speed it up a little bit. Shift over, keep going, good. Shift, almost like a speed skater, but don't add them too much of that jumping motion. Just step, step, step. Finishing in about 10 seconds, I need you to make sure you step as far as you can. Step as far as you can, almost done. Three, two, one. So. It's time to work out. And we've done side to side motions and forward and back. We're gonna do some lateral jacks on this one. So jumping jacks on one side and the opposite side, but in between, we have a shuffle. Let me show you, we'll get it done together. From here, I'm gonna get my jumping jack or I can modify this one, two, and now side step it. Stop here, one, two, or I can move a little quicker, get a nice jumping jack in there and move over. Nice jumping jack, good. I'll modify this one, how about that? Step, step, move it over, yes, 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 yes. Step, step, don't cross your feet or drag your feet. Let's do two jumping jacks, how about it? Good. Remember, we're doing two here, how about that? All right, back over. Almost done. Two of them, good. And watch, I can still double it up, modify it. One, two, one, Nice it up. Finish it, finish it, finish it. All right. Stop there. So what we're going to be doing now is resting for about 30 seconds and doing it again. Take a deep breath while you're here. Exhale. Grab water if you need it. I'm going to push you guys a little bit today. We've been getting a little comfortable with each other on these Fridays. So it's time for us to kick it up a notch, all right? Rather modified or not, I'm going to push you today. Here we go. So three, two, modified. Let's go. One. Two, move it over. Get to the opposite side a little faster. One, two. You can see it. I still had that faster speed, but I got a modified jumping jack. Let's go. Move it over. Good. Stop it there. One, two. Move it over. Good. All right. Two jumping jacks quick. Move it over. Shift. Get there. Get there. Good. Shift. Get there. Come on. Good. Two of them. Shift. Get there. All right. Almost done. Get there. Last one. Stop right there. Stop right there. So I can see, I can push that pace a little bit, modified or not. Let's move on to our next exercise. But before we do, deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. 
Doing great. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to grab my mat for this one. And we got to add in the core, right? Not going to break for too long. We got a walking plank. And our walking plank is going to be starting from an inchworm perspective. Check me out. Walk it out. From here, down. Back up. Walk it back in. Stand up. So let's say, Q, as of right now, let's just focus on the walking plank from a modified perspective. So from here, I walk it down, I walk it back up, and I start it over again, down and back up. But you got two options, right? Let's use one of them. It's up to you. Back down, good. Take your time, walk it out, one. Bring it back up. Let's see how many we can get. How about it? This is number two. Back up, good. Take your time as you bring your body down. Placing your joints in the right area to that lower plank. Up. Walk it back. Stand yourself up. Do it again. Down, down, down. Hands up. Good. Walk it back. We're almost finished. Walk it all the way out. Drop those elbows. Push it back up. Bring it back. Bring it back. Give me one more. Give me one more. Walk it out. Stop here. Down. Down. Up. Up. Walk it back. Stop right there. Stop right there. We'll start the other one from a modified perspective. You guys have done good. Grab water if you need it. Tell you what, deep breaths before we start. Inhale, exhale. Great job, inhale, exhale. The glisten, the shine, it's needed. So embrace the sweat, all right? Embrace the sweat. Okay, so our second round is up. Deep breath is over. Time to get started with the inchworm, right? Drop it down, find your spot, hold it. Down and back up. Walk it back. Stand up tall. Do it again. Good. From here, drop, drop. But it's time to modify, right? So drop those knees down there. And let's really focus on getting our body to the best position to walk the plank down, back up. Keep going. Let's really focus on extending that arm, keeping the core stable, and not leaning to one side more than the other. If you want to, of course, switch those arms you push up with. Drop it down. Push it back up, right? Keep going. All right, about two more. Stay with me. Keep your core tight. Last one, bring it back up. All righty, so we're done with that one. You're making it, you're making it. And that one, you made it look a little too easy. So on the scale of one to 10, go ahead and type it in the chat box. Tell me where you are right now. I'm about at a five, at a five, doing great. So what we're gonna do now is move on <clears throat> to a shadow boxing set. And this shadow boxing set is gonna have us do a sweep and a combination. I'll show you the combination and then we'll sweep together, adding in that lateral shuffle. So we're gonna start left foot forward, right foot back, arms up. I wanna extend that left arm twice. One, two, the right arm comes after that. And then we're gonna do it again. One, and after that one, we're gonna sweep under, just like so. And then I shuffle. Good, I stop here, one. One, two, one, sweep, and bring it over to the opposite. We're doing great. One, one, two, one, sweep it under, and then bring it over. Good, stop here, extend, extend and rotate. Do it again, sweep, and let's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Good job, sweep it, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And as I sweep, I'm using that squatting motion, right? Up and under, stand myself back up, and sweep over to the opposite side. Stop here, one, one, two, one. Sweep, sweep, sweep. And let's get over to stop right here. Amazing job on that one. So now, we're gonna use the posterior chain again. And this is gonna be a Superman to row. No weight is needed for this row. And we're gonna be using our back, our buttocks, and of course, a mat to support our bodies. Dropping down, what I'm gonna do to start off is lay my stomach on the ground, just like so. My hands should be extended, and I'm gonna to try to lift up, just like so, roll back, bring it back out, and drop, right? As I do this, I'm gonna be lifting and squeezing my buttocks, put my shoulders, squeeze my back, retract, bring it back out, drop it down. My goal is to try to get my knees and my shoulder blades off the ground, and my elbows as well, right? All together, pull, and down. Try it again, up, pull, and down, as if you 
you're your baby having tummy time, right? We're coming up, squeeze, down. Exhale, coming up, squeeze, down. My niece used to do this all the time. Up, squeeze, down. Trying to get it to get that row down though, right? Up, squeeze, down. Last one, last one, up, squeeze, and down. All right. You've done amazing with that one, but let's say, hey Q, I can't on the ground as of right now. Let me show you a modification to get this done. I'm gonna do it from a standing perspective. I have a wall apparatus, if you will, that I'm gonna be using to keep my balance, but I'm gonna extend both and bring it back down and try it again, okay? I'm gonna extend, arms go up, legs go up, and bring it back down. Since I can only do one side, I gotta switch, right? Opposite side would be the same thing. Lift, lift, squeeze it, bring it back in. Remember, you're gonna have options with us, all right? Keep it going, lift and squeeze, bring it back in. One more, lift and squeeze, and bring it back in. So, I got a surprise for you. We're gonna do all four exercises in succession in intervals, all right? Starting off with that first one, the lateral ejects. And like I said, I can challenge you guys a little bit today because we've built a relationship we're getting comfortable with each other. And of course, I need to progress you a little bit, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, lateral jacks are first, right? Let's get started. Moving out, two of them, move over. There you go, two of them. One, two, sweep. Or, one, two, three, four, sweep. Good. Let's keep going. Uh-huh. Easy enough, you got this. Should be getting easier for you as you move. Of course you got options, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit on myself. Dropping it here, sweeping over. Another one, almost done. Over top. Last one here, good job. Sweep, 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 sweep. Excellent. And let's stop. All right, so lateral jacks are done. Now we're gonna move on to that inchworm. I got my mat. I'm gonna place that mat down. Of course, have a safe or soft ground for yours. And I'm gonna start modified first, right? Dropping it down here. Walking plank for the first, let's say 15 seconds. So drop, push, keep going. Keep your core tight as you walk through these planks, okay? High position to low position. As I come up, I wanna have my shoulder over top of my wrist, bringing it down, shoulder over top of the elbow. Couple seconds here, and I wanna change it now, so Walk it in, stand up, walk it down. Transfer, down, back up, good. Walk it, walk it, walk it, stand up. You got this, I know you do. I'm right here with you. We can shine together, get up there. Walk it back. Give me one more, drop it down. It's all about time here. Interval training is all about time. And you're finished. So. Modified or not, you got that core exercise done. That's out of there. Shadow boxing, shadow boxing, here we go. So, moving over here, I'm gonna start on my left side. Left, left, right, left, right? So it goes left, left, right, left, and the sweep, sweep under, shift, 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 stop. I changed that sense for those southpaw guys out there. One, one, two, one, sweep. Over, let's go, let's go, let's go. One, one, two, one. Sweep under that, let's go. Shuffle, one, one, two, one. Sweep, shuffle. I think we can go a little faster, right? Sweep it, shuffle, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, two, one. Sweep, stand, shuffle, get over there, good. One, one, two, one. Sweep, shuffle. Last ones, one, one, two, one, sweep, shuffle. Over, 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 stop. Okay, I see you, Hold, tell you what. Stay right there for a second. I gotta get a photo of you because you're looking so good. So, now it's time for us to use the mat again. And I might have you strike a pose again at the end because you're looking real good today. It's time for us to do that Superman again. And as I said, tummy time is a really good practice for most babies. We can still use it in the real world. So we get on our stomachs, just like so. Arms extended, like my niece used to do. 
and I used to call her name, right? So you look at me, and then I haven't taught her that one just yet. But hopefully we'll get there, right? Lift it up, squeeze, right? You want to be attentive and look up, same spot. Exhale going up, squeeze it down. Take your time. This is one area that we need to work on a little bit more because the front of our bodies get a lot more exercise or motion throughout our days, but our posterior chain really is not activated as much. So we gotta actively do it. And a couple more here. Lift it up. Good, bring those elbows back, draw them back nice and easy. Squeeze, down, and let's stop. So, as I said, you're looking good today. So do me a favor. I need you to strike your favorite pose. Cause I gotta get you on candid camera. You're looking good, all right? So it is time for us to bring it back down. And you might have heard me reference a scale of one to ten on that exercise, but if not, that is a rate of perceived exertion. And as I was moving through the exercise, I probably got up to a seven, a eight, or a nine. But it's time to bring it back down to like a five, a four, or a three, because we want to come back down to a nice, calm, or well-being type state. Of course, you've been doing a lot of work today, so let's cool it down a little bit. We're gonna do a forward fold. Starting off from here, I'm gonna turn to the side slightly so you can see me a little better. Drop it forward, tuck your chin to your chest. You should feel that stretch all the way down the back of your leg. Good, and try not to move forward too much into the stretch because you'll put too much pressure on your knees there, right? I want you to kind of settle back a little bit and let it hang. Deep breath while you're there, inhale, exhale, on the next one, we're gonna stand up, inhale, and exhale, stand up, stand up, stand up, reach to the ceiling, reach to the ceiling. Good, good, good. Bring it back down to center. That was amazing. Now, we're gonna get a side bend in, but this time, we're gonna widen the stance out, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take our spine, lean over to the side, and reach. That side body should be getting a nice stretch. We used a couple of pushing motions. We did use the shoulder a little bit on those walking. Planks, you guys did good, switch. Bring it over to the opposite side, lean. There you go. As far as you can, you feel that stretch from your elbow almost down towards your hip. About two more seconds. Bring it back up to center. For good measure, let's go a centimeter more than we did the same side we started on. Bring it over. Try to go a little further into that stretch, all right? And bring it back up, switch it out. Great job, you're looking so good today. And I'm glad you guys pushed through this workout with me. All right, so an offset hinge to get the hamstrings, but also we wanna get a lunge in there too. So what we're gonna do first is stick that toe up, right? Drop it down and reach for it. About five seconds, four, deep breath, three, two, bring it back up, step. I'm gonna switch to the opposite, same thing, right? Toe up, drop it down. Hold here, good, two, one, amazing job. Now, we do have a couple of options to get the quadriceps stretched out. A standing quad stretch is good, right? But let's say, hey Q, I don't have the best balance. Use a wall, hold on lightly, and pull back to moderate tension, okay? Good, the other option that you have, I'll do the opposite leg this way, is I'll use my mat. And I'm gonna step, planting my knee, Cause this is the leg I want to stretch, right? I'm gonna move my left foot away as far as I can. And you can see that I'm stretching out because that knee is there. I'm stretching out my quadricep the further I get away from this leg. I'm gonna lean back into it a little bit. Deep breath, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Great job, amazing job. Let me come over there and talk to you guys. Look at you shining, and you've done amazing with this exercise, as you always have. Strength and determination showed by you. So, I want you guys to keep going. Of course, I know you have more energy. We just finished this interval training set in the 360 area, and I want you guys to keep checking in Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live for more exercises just like this one, even better than this one. So, until next time. Much love and much respect. I will see you guys in the next episode.